Hi honeybees! Today I'm going to be doing a review on the new L'Oreal Paris Color Riche um, Caress lipsticks. And these are like sheer kind of lipstick lip balms, um, sort of in the same category as Revlon lip butters, the new Revlon lip butter kind of lip stains, um, you know, like chubby sticks, tart lip surgeons pens, sort of in that same realm of things. So I needed to do a review on these because I just recently purchased them this week and I just felt like I needed to come out and tell you guys about it right away because I went to Walgreens and CVS and they both had all almost all the colors and that doesn't usually happen so I needed to come and tell you guys about these so I'm going to as I talk about each one of these I'm going to have lip swatches and and pictures on my blog as well um, so yeah something new that I've done for you today okay so the first one I have it on my lips right now and it's a very pretty kind of sheer fuchsia pink the packaging is really cute let me show you that first packaging is pretty cute for a drugstore. Um, the color on the actual packaging is pretty accurate to the lip color inside. I think this is fun because if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this picture where I showed this one and my nails because they match. But that's the one I'm wearing today and it's in the color 172 Blushing Sequin. Okay, so this is what the color looks like. And I will do swatches on my hand as well. I'm doing about four swatches. Like I went back and forth four times and that's the color that came out. So it is sheer cover. You do have to kind of, to get this color, I did about three strokes on my lips to get that nice vibrant color. So what I like about these is that they're buildable. The color is buildable. I actually like that it's kind of sheer because sometimes when I'm putting like a brighter color on like this, it's easier to kind of mess up if you don't, if you're not like in the mirror actually applying it. Also, I really like the balm quality of this. It's very smooth, kind of silky feeling. Um, maybe even more so than the Revlon lip butters. However, I do find that these are less pigmented than the Revlon lip butters and they don't really last super long. I do have to reapply this after like, I'd say maybe two, two to three hours they last. Um, but that's fine to me because I really do like reapplying lipsticks, especially when they have like a bomb quality like this. So if that's a concern, a concern to you and you rather something that's really long lasting, then I probably wouldn't recommend this to you. But if you're looking for something with a fun color and having a bomb, like a lip balm property to it, then I would definitely go with this. I would say that they're moisturizing, um, but... Like I said, since they're not super long lasting, you will need to reapply. So the next color I want to show you is this pink. It's really pretty pink and it's in Pink Cashmere 171. And it's just like a really fun light pink. I really like this one. It's just a fun pink and I don't know, it's like an everyday pink. That's it right there. And you can even tell from what I'm showing you the swatches how moisturizing they really are. This one is my number one favorite and it's in number 176 Sunset Angora. It's just the perfect peachy sort of nude, not really. It's just like the perfect peachy color for the summer and, and even going into fall it'd be really nice. And it's one of the more pigmented of the ones I have. Love this one. And the last one I have is in 174 Rose Taffeta. And this is more like your lips but better kind of color. You know I have a ton of these. Um, but it's a very pretty color. I probably will wear this more in the fall, but I just had to get it because I was worried I wouldn't have it late. They wouldn't have it in stock later on. So that's that color. So these are all the four colors I have. Like I said, really moisturizing, very pretty pigment, pretty pigmented. As long as you build it up, it's even more pigmented. I say the top two pigmented that I have are the Rose Taffeta and the um, Sunset Angora, the peachy one. 
Um, these two pinks are a little, this like fusion one and the light pink, they're a little less pigmented, but like I said, I like that because it's easier to apply. Um, so yeah, I give these two thumbs up. The packaging is really cute. The price point is okay. Um, I think these are at CVS and Walgreens. These were $9.99 a piece. So that's a little hefty in my opinion for drugstore because thinking about it, MAC is $14 for one lipstick. Um, I did not purchase these at $9.99 a piece. I had coupons um, like my CVS I had a $4 off. I also had a 20% off my entire purchase. Walgreens, I had a coupon for L'Oreal. So if you can find coupons to purchase these, or if you want to wait till they have like a sale, like buy one, get one 50% off, I would suggest that since they are kind of pricey for drugstore. But overall, I think these are awesome. I will definitely be using them for the rest of the summer. You guys probably see a kind of theme going on for my summer with my lip products because if you haven't already seen I'll link right here right here but I did a review on the Revlon lip stain lip um, balms that just recently came out as well and I really like those still but I have noticed that as I reapply those during the day they can be a bit drying um, initially they're very minty and cool feeling and they feel really great but as the day progresses they're a little bit drying I still wear them though because I think they're awesome and I, I just really like the the quality of the color the staying power the how it feels initially when I put it on my lips and like I said earlier about these I reapply all day long anyways um, but if that's a concern for you then you might want to pick something up like this or the Revlon Lip Butters because those always moisturize the whole day, I feel. So let me know if you guys pick any of these up or if you have already picked these up, let me know which shade is your favorite. And now I'm going to post a few pictures at the end here. Hope you guys enjoy. And please like this and comment below if you would like more reviews on new products. See you soon.